the title of this painting is New Plastic Experiences. I came across this title in an exhibition by Fantin Latour in Paris. Uh, it was him describing a way of looking at the world in a new post-impressionist way. I thought that I knew Rembrandt's work particularly well. I've taken on a sort of new understanding and almost have this new emotional attachment in that I've spent the last six, eight months just looking at Rembrandt's work and nobody else. Given that I was asked to do this exhibition in Rembrandt's house, I decided I was going to make quite a number of works specifically for the exhibition. The starting point of this painting is a Rembrandt etching and transformed it using software to change the proportions of the figure and take off the head, most importantly. I often project the image onto the panel and then use the sort of pencil drawing as a starting point for the painting that I come up with. I want the work to look like it's moving or to create a sense of animation. For a long time I've been interested in the brush mark and how the brush mark describes the sort of intensity of character and how for the last century especially artists have been obsessed with the authenticity of the signature and how it's held within that mark. I've made a lot of work which questions that idea of authenticity. I use very long and delicate brushes to create very graphic, singular brush strokes. They're almost caricatures to create a signature style of my own, but also one that refers very much to Rembrandt in this case. All of my paintings have a very flat surface to them. Uh, the very thick gestural brush marks that may have occurred in Rembrandt's work has been got rid of and replaced with this sheer flat photographic surface almost. The colour of the background of this particular work refers to Dürer's drawings, where he'd use a dark coloured background and then to use highlighted whites to make a drawing that appears more three-dimensional. I like my work to have a sense of metamorphosis, a certain sense of translucency you might see in it, it's as if the whole image is starting to decay and transform into something else. In 2008, I made a series of etchings that took Rembrandt's portrait etchings, changed their scales and layered them one on top of each other. I wanted to create this idea that you were seeing too much of the world. You were seeing maybe seven or ten etchings all at once. This painting, along with a number of other paintings I've made, takes the idea of artists like Picasso and Matisse removing the eyes one step further and it completely removes the head and therefore you have no sense that you can have a relationship with this figure. When you see a painting that hasn't been finished, you always wonder why the artist didn't finish it. What happened? Did they die? Did they become bored with the work? In this case, I knew I wasn't going to finish it. I had to create a painting which artificially describes this idea of being unfinished. When I was a student, appropriation was a very important part of what seemed to be happening in the art world at the time. The idea that we can only communicate if we borrow ideas and borrow language from other people was the fundamental structure, I thought, to what my work should be about. The two paintings I've made based on Rembrandt are very much there to pay homage to Rembrandt, but also in a way that I am attacking him by turning him into this ridiculous clown figure. There's this rather overly bright uh, colour palette that I use. Although they borrow from 20th century pop art, artists like Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein, I'm trying to bring this pop ideal to Rembrandt's work. For me, making a painting, especially one based on an artist from the 17th century, is an act of time travel. I'm trying to get the viewer to travel with me into the 17th century and then to bring the artist into the 21st century. An awful lot of the world hasn't changed. We still love and we still fear death. We still feel pain in the same way we did in the 17th century. And probably most of the emotions haven't changed. <laughs>